Hey guys, I'm Jason. Welcome to our relationship series. We're so glad that you're here joining us this week. So we're going to start off by learning a Bible verse that teaches us about relationships. Our Bible verse is Romans 12, 9 through 10. Don't just pretend to love others, but love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. Now, let's learn that verse by singing this song. Don't just pretend to love others. Love each other with genuine affection. And take delight in honoring each other. That was a great song, right? So now it's time to hear a story from the Bible. Our Bible story this week is found in 1 Samuel. And 1 Samuel is an awesome book with cool stories about kings and giants and ordinary people too, who learn to have good relationships with each other and God. So let's take a look at our Bible story. Slapstick Theater, David and Saul. This is David. Hey. Who would later defeat a giant and be the king of Israel. Huh? For now, he kept his father's sheep and played an instrument called a lyre. This is Saul, who was the king of Israel. Saul was very troubled because a harmful spirit made him feel sad and afraid. Saul's servants told Saul that they should find someone to play music for him. Okay. Saul agreed, and one of his servants told Saul that David would be perfect for the job. Saul sent messengers to David's dad. See ya! And David came to serve Saul. Whenever Saul felt sad or afraid, David would play the lyre for Saul, and he would feel better, and the harmful spirit would go away. David became Saul's armor bearer, and Saul loved him very much. That was an incredible story, right? So do you know what time it is now? It's time for us to watch the most amazing YouTube series ever, You've heard of Mad Art Skills. Well, now it's time for us to watch Pastor Steve's newest YouTube series, Mad Food Skills. Mad Food Skills is where Pastor Steve teaches you how to be a master chef. And since he has absolutely no culinary training and happens to be accident prone, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Let's check it out and see what happens this week. Dipping sauce. Pastor Steve. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm so excited. I love food. 
Hi guys, it's time for our favorite segment, Mad Food Skills! Wah, 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 wah. Hey, today I've gotta tell you something. Because Mad Food Skills has already swept across the nation, I, Pastor Steve, with Mad Food Skills, have been asked to cater my first event. That's right, I'm gonna cater an event. I am in charge of the appetizer. So they've asked me to create a very special appetizer for this catering event, and that's what we're gonna be making today. So, to properly serve our guest, we're going to need a very special dipping sauce for our bread. And that dipping sauce is a very special something that we are gonna create right here in the Mad Food Skills Kitchen. So the ingredients we're going to need are this, mayonnaise, which we have right here. So we're gonna need just a little bit of mayonnaise. So add some more honey, honey. <laughs> you see, see what just happened there? You're gonna to want to add in some yellow mustard. That sounded like a... So we add these things together. Now you wanna put some Dijon mustard. Why? Because we're fancy. So add a little Dijon mustard in there as well. Okay, once you have that, you're gonna put in a lemon. Now, it's very important that when you add the lemon or when you're cutting a lemon, you must be careful. Lemons can burn, so you gotta be very, very careful whenever you are cutting up your lemon. Now, you wanna squeeze in just the right amount of lemon and make sure that you don't touch your eyes or anything after, after you put it in. Ow! 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 Okay, that has never happened before. Injury does not stop us here in the Mad Food Skills Kitchen. We press on. Woo woo! The last thing you wanna add is a little BBQ sauce. Now, once you put the barbecue sauce in, then you've got everything that you need. Now, you could make it super barbecue-y or barbecue-ish. Barba-esque? I don't know. But now comes the fun. So now we're gonna have to mix all this up and it just seems appropriate considering the size of bowl that we have that we need to use a larger type mixing device, okay? And um, All right, this isn't, this isn't working the way I thought it would. And guys, listen, I, I'm, I'm nervous. You know, this is my first catering event and I really wanna serve these people well, I really do. And you know, talking about what it means to serve, in a Bible story, we saw David was a loyal and faithful servant to King Saul. And King Saul loved David and David had a lot of great talents and gifts. And David was willing to bless King Saul with those gifts not because of what he would get in return, but because David had an opportunity to serve the king. God gave him that opportunity and David honored God and the king by serving him with his very best efforts. And you know, we can do the very same thing because there are all kinds of people in our life who God has placed there for us to serve. So you can find people at school and your family at home with here at church, even in their neighborhoods, people that you could serve. When you serve others, you're doing good things that will benefit them, not things that will benefit you. So when we're serving others, we don't wanna do it just because we're gonna get something out of it. We wanna serve others to show them the love of Jesus. Again, that's how people will know we belong to Christ. When we love others with our words and our actions, people see that. And Jesus said, they're gonna know that you belong to me when they see that love in you. So this week, you can show God's love to others by serving them, doing good things that benefit them, not necessarily you. We're to love God with every part of our being, our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength. And the scripture also says that we're to love others. This week, you can show God's love by serving others, by putting that love into action and doing good things that will benefit them. This is not gonna do it for me. I thought the paddle would work, but it's not. This has to be mixed up correctly, otherwise it's not gonna taste as good as it could. So, for that reason, I have created the Mixomatic 500. Yeah, we're gonna mix this trash right now. So 
almost there. We're really close. A little bit. Oh, there it is. Got it. That looks perfect. Now we're gonna test it. Take the bread, dip the bread in, see what we got. It's perfect. Love you guys. I will see you right back here next time for Mad Food Skills. What, 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 what? That's, that's really pretty bad. We are so glad you joined us for our relationship series. We hope that you remember how much God loves you and how much he wants to be your friend. Now this next week, as you go out there in the world, try and remember what you learned here about relationships and show that same kind of genuine love and affection to the people in your life. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.